Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a quick look at a couple of Manjaro spins. These are both community <coughs> additions and um, neither of them have been updated in quite a while. The first one's going to be LXDE and then I'm going to take a look at LXQT. And the reason I'm doing both together is because uh, LXQT is scheduled at some point to replace LXDE. LXDE is going away so I've heard. Uh, I for one would be uh, would be sorry to see it go. I think LXDE is a terrific simple low resource desktop environment. Uh, it just works fine. It's not uh, you know not a lot of bells and whistles not a lot of eye candy but it does the job and for a uh, computer that isn't um, really fully spec'd out then you would want a low resource distribution one that doesn't consume your RAM and your CPU now if you go to the Manjaro website and just bring up the uh, download page at the bottom you will see the community editions so if I click on that you can see all of the community editions that Manjaro supports and LXDE has not been updated since March. LXQT has not been updated since May. So let's take a look at LXDE. Now a couple of comments. One is I uh, set it up with everything that I normally do. So I've got Redshift, Synapse, P-Sensor, Clipit, caffeine, um, my normal multimedia applications. For gaming I installed Battle.net uh, using Wine and Wine Tricks. Uh, I've got Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, runs fine. I, I downloaded the uh, Windows installer and installed it using Wine and it runs perfectly. Steam also no problems at all. Uh, one of the things about LXDE is I was able to install Compiz. Now if I use Compiz as my uh, compositor then I am able to uh, have video playing with no screen tearing whatsoever. So if I go to preferences and I bring up Compiz Settings Manager. You can see I've got compositing enabled and I've got it set up as my window manager. Um, I like it because I can center the windows using their using the placement uh, specification and if I use Compiz Compositor it takes care of my screen tearing. Uh, I have an NVIDIA card. Uh, both NVIDIA and Broadcom installed without any problems whatsoever. Um, I don't have uh, wobbly windows or anything on this particular Compiz uh, install. Um, but as I said I do have compositing and I do have animations, some animations enabled. If I set up wobbly windows as you can see it it works fine um, and so uh, my compositing uh, my screen tearing has disappeared and everything works fine I have not had to use my Compton configuration file I'm using compositing directly through Compiz and it's taken care of my screen tearing. So everything just works on LXDE. I really like the LXD desktop, LXDE test desktop. And from Manjaro, they've really themed it nicely. Um, I like the um, the size of the icons on the panel, the transparency of the panel. Um, 
I did change the icons to Fienza, which I usually do anyway. Um, and I'll be getting to the LXQT version in a in a moment or two, but <clears throat> and there are some some differences that you'll see. But uh, everything is is set up really nice. Um, I really enjoy using LXDE. I think that it handles everything beautifully. Now let me show you what I have installed. Accessories, as I said, I installed Caffeine, um, Clip It. Um, Redshift Synapse there's the Chromium apps which come along with Chromium I did install Chromium as my browser it comes with default pale moon uh, which I prefer Chromium so I've got Chromium set up for graphics um, I installed GIMP and shot well it came with an image viewer it doesn't come with a whole lot of software but that's really preferable as far as I'm concerned because then I can go ahead and add the ones that I want without having to delete a whole lot of applications as I said I have Steam installed for Office um, out of the box comes Abbey Word, GNumeric and QPDF View which is perfect uh, programming, the usuals, sound and video, I installed Banshee, GUVC View, Kazam, Kodi, um, OBS, OpenShot, Pythos, and Simple Screen Recorder, and SM Player. So, as I said, it comes with just a basic set of applications, and then you can build from there. System Tools, LX Terminal. I installed XFCE Terminal. I kind of prefer that. It, it brought in a few dependencies, but not many at all. I've got uh, P-Sensor running in my system tray. Um, really, not much else uh, going on in System Tools. I installed Wine, and as you can see, I have Battle.net, Euro Truck Simulator, Hearthstone, everything runs absolutely perfectly no problems whatsoever for normal preferences you've got I've got Compiz um, you've got the basic LXDE preferences so you can customize look and feel default applications is where you'll find your auto auto start so anything you want to start up uh, during uh, your booting then that's where you'll put it in auto start uh, if if it doesn't set it up you can add it manually um, let's see you've got uh, desktop preferences so you can set your your uh, wallpaper easily it does use open box configuration manager but I don't use it I, I do really all of my um, settings are through the normal customized look and feel and of course Right now, I'm using Compiz as my uh, window window manager, so I'm not really using the open box, uh, and so there's no need for the configuration manager. And then you've got preferred applications. My, now, print settings. My brother printer installed perfectly as it always does with Manjaro. So that is LXDE. Now I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back with. LXQT and we'll look at uh, what the differences are both in appearance and in functionality. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay welcome back guys this is the uh, Manjaro LXQT <clears throat> the look is completely different now I've already themed this a little bit I changed the um, panel to a dark it normally comes in at gray I changed the font to a blue just so it would show up a little bit better in the panel. Uh, I haven't changed the icons. This, these are the icons. As you can see, they're all kind of a monochrome gray. Um, not, not really crazy about it. Um, I would go ahead and change it to Fienza. Um, let's take a look. Preferences. Um, a couple things. I had difficulty with. Number one, it comes with Compton already installed as a composite manager. However, um, it, it didn't eliminate screen tearing with the default configuration. So I uh, replaced 
the default configuration file with my own uh, which I know will take care of screen tearing with my NVIDIA card and so I replaced it in the um, configuration let's see uh, if you go into dot config this uh, is the new Compton configuration file um, I replaced the default and it works much much better now I went ahead and I installed Hearthstone Battle.net, Euro Truck Simulator, and Steam, as you can see by the icons on the desktop. Uh, they all installed and ran flawlessly, no problems at all. LXQT comes with Octopi versus Pamac. Um, I prefer Pamac, but again, it's a personal preference. Um, I installed Redshift, Caffeine, Synapse, Peace Sensor, all of the things that I usually install with no problems whatsoever. Configuration is a little different. For example, in LXDE, you can auto start applications uh, by selecting the default applications out of the menu. Uh, in LXQT, you need to go ahead and add it to your auto start file under .config. Um, and so you'll you would you need to add the particular application to the auto start file. It's a little bit easier in LXDE. Now, as far as default uh, software, um, it does have a little bit more default software than LXDE. Um, I installed Redshift, Screen, uh, Synapse. Um, I installed LeafPad, I installed uh, Clipit, and Caffeine. For Chromium apps, I did change the default um, f browser from Firefox to Chromium. That gave me the Chromium apps. For games, I have Steam, runs perfectly. Graphics is GIMP. Uh, that was installed out of the box. Uh, Internet, I mentioned Firefox, I installed Chromium. Um, Office is the same as LXDE, Abbey Word G Numeric QPDF View, which is fine. Sound and Video, uh, it has Clementine out of the box. I installed GUVC View, OpenShot, uh, Simple Screen Recorder, and SM Player. Uh, for System Tools, you've got um, Gparted, which came out of the box. As I mentioned, Octopi, uh, LX Terminal. Uh, there is a root terminal. I installed Wine, and as you can see, I have Battle.net, Euro Truck, and Hearthstone. Uh, for preferences, you've got the LXQT settings, uh, and that's where you would go in. Now, NVIDIA and, Bro and Broadcom Wi Fi installed fine. No problems with either one. Uh, this is running the 4.4 uh, kernel, uh, which is the stable long-term support kernel. Um, let's see, for appearance, uh, icon theme, as I said, I do have Fianza installed. Right now it's Nuv, Nuv Gray, um, not a big fan of it, so I would go ahead and install Fianza, uh, Fianza Docker and as you can see it changed the icons I'm gonna go ahead and leave that uh, everything looks fine I prefer the look uh, of the of that icon theme and for LXQT theme you you have a dark a frost a light a plasma and an ambiance so you've got all of the various uh, light and dark and in between covered. Uh, let's see, and now I've got the Fienza icons in my terminal, which I think looks a little bit better. Now, overall, I prefer LXDE to LXQT. It's just a per personal preference. Uh, I found a comparison online at slant.com. Um, comparing LXDE and LXQT. So basically the pros uh, f 
simple and straightforward this is for LXDE simple and straightforward energy saving extremely fast designed for cloud networks and you can set up LXDE with the same look across different machines easily for the pros on LXQT you've got lightweight emphasis modular beautiful GUI using KDE's QT I prefer the look of LXDE uh, for cons, uh, LXDE has no compositor, but again, you can install either um, Compiz or Compton and take care of screen tearing and even put a little eye candy up. Uh, development has slowed as a con because uh, it's reaching the end of life. It'll still receive new updates as long as GTK2 is in use, which is good news. Now, uh, LXQT, the con, would be it's still in early development. So, again, it's going to improve as time goes on. And who knows, uh, at some point I may prefer it over LXDE. But right now I would have to give LXDE the edge. So that is it, guys. That's the comparison between Manjaro LXDE, Manjaro LXQT. These are available in the community repos at Manjaro. Uh, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.